dude, this laptop's weird. Why? Well, let me tell you in this review video for the Acer Nitro 5. Oh god, it's rolling. This is the new Acer Nitro 5 from Acer featuring the Ryzen 7000 series Ryzen 7 processor paired with an RTX 3050 GPU and it's currently priced at Rs 89,999. So what is so special about the new Ryzen 7000 series processors? Well, the Ryzen 7000 series, specifically the Ryzen 7 7735HS, which is in this laptop, is part of the Rembrandt refresh. And as such, it is not too different from last year's 6800HS. The only difference being the slightly higher TDP. Otherwise, you got the same number of cores and threads and almost the same clock speed as well. However, the higher TDP does result in a smaller improvement overall when it comes to synthetic CPU benchmarks. Unfortunately, this new processor still does not manage to outperform Intel's new 13th gen processors. For that matter, when we actually compared synthetic CPU benchmarks with uh, last year's Intel variant of the Acer Nitro 5, we found that that actually managed to outperform this. And that is a 12th gen Intel processor. So with the CPU out of the way, let's move on to the GPU. And we'll continue the comparison with last year's Acer Nitro 5 so we've got a bit of an AMD versus Intel thing going as well. So both of these laptops feature RTX 3050s. And if you look at the synthetic GPU benchmarks, namely uh, 3D Mark for the most part, uh, the scores are very similar and that makes sense. But if you take a look at the real world gaming benchmarks, which should have popped up somewhere on the screen right now, between the two Acer Nitro 5s featuring the same GPU, sorry, I have to point that out again, you'll notice that the Ryzen 7000 series variant of the Acer Nitro 5s raced ahead with around 23% improved performance. And why that is? Well, that's what's weird, or is it? There could be multiple reasons that this laptop actually manages to give us better real world gaming performance. This laptop comes with DDR5 RAM clocked at 4800MHz as opposed to the other Acer Nitro 5 which comes with DDR4 RAM clocked at 3200MHz. Also, this one comes with 8GB of RAM but it can be expanded to 32GB, which is nice. Another factor that could be helping this laptop give us better real-world gaming performance could be its thermals. We've noticed that throughout all of our benchmarking and real-world game testing, we didn't really get very high thermals. So this laptop does not heat too much. It doesn't throttle a lot, so that means you're consistently getting good performance while you're using the laptop. Next, we come to the display on the new Acer Nitro 5. So you've got a 15.6 inch Full HD IPS panel with a refresh rate of 144 Hz. Now, if you're going to be using this laptop just for gaming, that's more than enough. You don't really need to bother about anything else. But if you do care about the rest, well, it comes with an advertised brightness of 300 nits. And during our testing, we got about 281, which is not so bad. Uh, coming to the sRGB percentage, well, you get 59.1% sRGB coverage, which is about the same as the previous Nitro 5, and you get a 42% DCI P3 coverage. So, uh, if you're someone who's looking for a laptop for your, you know, photo or video editing needs, this is probably not the display for you. And finally, after we threw with all of that performance, let's take a look at the build and design. There's one thing the Acer Nitro 5 has, it's consistency. It looks pretty much the same as the previous Acer Nitro 5s, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Because you know what they say, if it ain't fixed, if it ain't... Because you know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So as you can see, you've got a plastic lid, you've also got a plastic base and a plastic bottom panel. You've also got the two speaker cutouts on the bottom, which is to be expected. This is Acer's budget offering, but uh, this is still a pretty good laptop in terms of uh, overall design. We really like the keyboard on this laptop. We thoroughly enjoyed using it. It's got good uh, travel and feedback. Kind of feels like a mechanical keyboard, but not quite, but it's really pleasant to type and game on. And if you come to the IO port options, uh, do we have two USB Type-A ports over here? Yeah. Yeah, so there's two of them over here. Anything else? A light or something. Okay, sure. On the other side, we've got the Ethernet port, we've got another USB Type-A port, and we've got the audio combo jack. And finally, behind, you've got the uh, port for the power, you've got a Type-C port, and you have an HDMI 2.0 port. 
so you've got pretty good offerings in the I.O. department as well, which is great. With all that out of the way, you can see why this laptop is kind of weird. It doesn't score too well in the synthetic CPU benchmarks. It does pretty average as expected in the synthetic GPU benchmarks, but it still manages to get pretty decent numbers when it comes to real world gaming. And that is ultimately what ends up mattering. Uh, however, at a price point of 89,999, we wouldn't feel comfortable recommending this as there are other laptop options out there like the MSI Katana GF66 Thin for example, which also features a 12th gen Intel Core i5 and an RTX 3050 Ti, which offers better gaming performance for around 75,000 rupees. So that was our review, short and brief I hope, of the new Acer Nitro 5. If you enjoyed that, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. And uh, do let us know if there are any specific gaming laptops that you want us to test out in the future. Thanks for watching.